enjoyed life. He, he enjoyed his life. I know that. Now it's all taken away. Holly Andredson and Michael Gallagher say they don't know how to move on following the death of their son. The 17 year old was the victim of Tuesday evening's fatal stabbing on a bus in Surrey. I just kept praying and praying and praying, like, please don't take my son because, like, you've taken everybody else from me. All I have is my sister and my kid. Andredson says Ethan Bestplug was taking transit to Aldergrove bus station, where she was supposed to pick him up to take him to their Abbotsford home. She says during the bus ride, he texted his best friend to say there was someone on the bus who didn't like him. I seen his GPS start moving, and it went to Royal Columbian Hospital. Like within two minutes, he was sent there, and I was like, "This is not right. Why is this happening?" So I just jumped in the car and I just started driving. When she got to the hospital, she was told her firstborn had died. She says Ethan was a good kid who helped around the house and was planning to go to college to become an electrician. He was the most polite young man you'd ever like come in contact with. He he cared about his siblings so much. He cared about his family. He was very much family oriented. And he had a good group of friends. He was a really good kid. And he was doing really good in school. A kid that likes to play. And now his playtime's over, and it's because it's some stupid kid, just some stupid kid, just decided, well. It's a game over. The family says they want justice. While the integrated homicide investigation team is investigating Ethan's death, no arrests have been made and they haven't publicly identified a suspect. On Thursday, police combed the area near King George Skytrain Station where Ethan was stabbed and someone placed a bouquet of flowers. BC's premier also addressed the stabbing. I think the story out of Surrey is really every parent's worst nightmare. Uh, transit needs to be safe and accessible for kids for seniors, uh, for everybody. As Indridson tries to come to terms with what happened, she's calling on the parents of children with violent tendencies to intervene. Apparently, there's some of these kids that did this have already done this before. So, like, if, as a parent, if your child is doing these things, but if they're stabbing people or beating people up, like, get them some proper counseling, get them some help so they don't continue on that path. In Vancouver, Monica Gould, City News.